If you nullify the thing you want to do most, we're talking about something illicit, something inappropriate, something indecent, whatever it is, maybe making more money the wrong way, and maybe looking at the wrong things, we all know the struggles of living in the 21st century. Says the Mishnah, you want to do something, you have that impulse, you have that taiva, and you're mevatalit, the pain ritzono for God? What's going to happen is Then Acherim will dissipate, will vanish. What does Acherim mean? Big, big machlaikas. The Mach Zavitri says Acherim means that somebody's coming to harm you. You never know. Danger's lurking all over the place. I just said last night that I was five minutes from a gunshot. Right in Flappish, the heart of Flappish. There was an exchange of gunfire, and if I wasn't delayed, I would have been right there. So, Acherim means that anybody can harm you? How do you get spared from harm? Yivatel Ritzoyincha Mepnei Ritzono. However, there's other Pshatim. The Yaibit says something very, very deep. He says, really, what this means, if that God Almighty Himself wants to do something to you because you deserve it, you ate too much chalt on Shabbos, whatever it is. Right, you made trouble, and you deserve some kind of punishment. By you eradicating within, by you nullifying something you want to do, Hashem will be canceled out. Not the Hashem, God will be canceled out, but his, whatever He wants to decree against you. And the reason why he uses a lush and acherim is because it's euphemistic, because it's too audacious to say that Yivato God. And that's why it says acherim. But really, it's referring to Hashem Himself. There's an astounding Gemara that will shock you, and it sounds almost heretical. And you can think I'm making it up. So I encourage you, I urge you, look it up yourself. It's in Moi Cotton Daf. Tezainim Abeis. And you know what it says? The Gemara says, I rule over. God says, I rule over you. Ani Moshe Ba'adam. I'm the ruler. Me Moshe be. But who rules over me? Rule over God? God's omniscient. God is omnipotent. God's omnipresent. No one can rule over God. There's no God over God. That would be idolatry, polytheism. What does God mean? God says, I rule over man, but me, Moshe, shall be. Who rules over me? A tzaddik. Somebody's a tzaddik. I could do a decree, and he could cancel the decree, even though I made it, says God. What's a tzaddik? Says the Meshach a tzaddik is not what you think it is. It's not the guy who has the big, big, long white beard who sits all day and learns shas. Not necessarily. Because when Avram went to fight for Sodom, what does it say? He says, Hashem, maybe there's a few tzaddikim here. Come on. Sid City, Red Light District, Vegas. There'd be a tzaddik there. Meshach Chachma says that tzaddik means that you go against your impulse. You're not a full tzaddik, but you're fighting the instinct. You're fighting the drive. You're fighting society in a little way. This is huge. This is epic. Says the Gemara in Shabbos, Daf Samach Gimel, Kala Oisen Mitzvah, Kimamara, if you do a mitzvah with your ratzon, the way it should be done, with a cheshek, with a zest, with a zeal, with a gusto, with a geschmack, God has a decree. You could cancel it. This is huge. Why don't we try it?